Hello everyone and welcome to episode 38 of the Nurtured by Nature podcast. Today I'm delighted to be joined in conversation by the amazing Angie, a Bowen therapist from Adelaide, Australia. If you've never heard of Bowen therapy, then join us in this beautiful conversation as we have a wonderful time exploring this fascinating field and how it can help you get rid of the issues in your tissues. This gentle yet powerful modality, which is suitable for all from babies to older people and even animals, has an incredible relationship in supporting and releasing the fascia in the body and supporting hydration of the cells. Fascia is a truly remarkable web-like tissue that interconnects organs, muscles, tendons and more. But it is only more recently that science is slowly coming to understand its importance to the functioning of everything in our bodies and helping us to understand the true power of healing modalities like Bowen therapy. Angie is passionate about the mind and body connection, working with the root of an issue rather than just the symptoms. She supports her practice with essential oils, understanding of meridians, muscle testing and the importance of hydration and shares some great resources for us all. We also explore how stress and trauma affect the nervous system and how Bowen therapy actually helps to give the body space to reset and feel safe whilst also helping alleviate physical pain, which can help shift us back into the parasympathetic nervous system or rest and digest, and open up space for the releasing of stored emotions. She reminds us of the importance of caring for ourselves and how for her, Bowen has been a journey of reclamation. She isn't here to fix you, but to support you and give you space to come back to yourself to feel empowered in remembering who you are and what you are truly capable of. A gentle reminder to simply believe in yourself. Welcome Angie and thank you so much for joining us today on this episode of the Nurtured by Nature podcast. I'm really looking forward to talking to you more about um, Bowen therapy. Um, It's something that I've had a little bit of experience with but I'm really interested to have a bit more of a deep dive with you about that but just to get us started I like to just ask all my guests to share a little bit about their nature story so just anything really about what nature has been to you through your life any fond memories or anything else that you'd like to share to get us started with yeah lovely. definitely so when I was um younger my dad we used to go on a Sunday we used to go for a drive to his friend's house and his friend used to live quite close to the beach and mm-hmm. so um, that was a really fun memory for me because as we were driving there, we would drive up the coastline and you'd see the beach and that was such a calming thing for me. And I'm one of three, so I'm the, the littlest, so I would be in the middle seats. Oh, yeah. And so, you know, there'd always be a bit of, you know, back seat, you know, pushing and shoving. Yeah. Um, so just we would all just used to stop um, at that point whilst we were driving along that coastline and, you um, and yeah, I just remember the the smell of the breeze, and um, they used to, he was German, my dad's friend, and he used to have these windmills. He used to, oh, I don't okay. know what they were called. He used to make these wooden things, and they would twist and and go in the wind. And so mm. I, I remember seeing that because he was obviously so close to the ocean, they would constantly be turning. And so that was, uh, I guess, my first sort of love for the ocean. I just, yeah. um, it's that calming. So now for me, um, when I'm ever feeling in those stress situations, the beach is just like my sanctuary. Um, so whether it's going in or just going watching, um, you know, the sunset at the beach or yeah. going for a walk or going in the ocean, um, I've got two water babies, so they're the same. So we're <laughs> rain, hail, or shine, even if it's just a little bit warm and we've happened to go to the beach, we all end up getting in there yeah. in the end. So um, it's well, just a really calming, beautiful. You're lucky because you're you're actually in Australia. So you. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you we've got some, some beautiful the best beaches. beaches in the we world, do. Like and you, yeah. yeah. And in Adelaide, where I am, it's, you know, half an hour anywhere you go, really. If you're in, in any central point, it's half an hour to oh, sort wow. of get anywhere. And you can get to a nice beach in half an hour. Or, you know, if you want to go somewhere a bit nicer, you, it's a bit longer, but um, yeah. never anything too far. So we're very spoiled. Yeah. I love, I love the ocean. There's just. I don't know I, whether it's the vast expanse it just it sort of gives you that sort of sense that like you know anything you're dealing with is actually sort of smaller isn't it and it just sort yeah. of is a great like 
you know, re re sort of settler and and sort of That's right. you know come back and go, oh, okay, I've had a really bad day or like things have got on top of me, and you just get there and it just sort of you know you know cliched, but all your troubles melt Yeah. away, don't they? Almost, Oh, yeah. well, it's almost like it's reminding you to breathe because of that sound. Yeah. It's sort of like reminding you, okay, I just need to breathe now, you know, and it's that little soft reminder to say, okay, you can bring, bring yourself back to calm. Yeah. So that's pretty amazing. Yeah, I'd never thought of it, but you're right. Hmm. It's that, you know, that sort of natural rhythm that you can quite easily just subconsciously tap into, don't you? Just sort of Yeah. with the waves coming in and out. And That's and I right. think, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's beautiful. Oh, I love, I love that. It's beautiful. And um, I'm a water baby myself, so I Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Love completely, it. <laughs> I Yeah. love that, that your kids are growing up with that as well. It's a beautiful... Oh, they love it. Yeah. Yeah. We just would, and you know, whatever it is, we're just like, it's okay. Just go for it. <laughs> just be in the moment. If you want to go in, cool. We'll sort that out. I've always got beach towels in my car. So. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a, a amazing way to live. I, I'm quite jealous. Oh, you have to, yeah, have to, <laughs> got to do it. yeah. Yeah. So, um, we're we're actually um, what you well, what you do for your profession now is you're a bo a Bowen therapist. If I get that Yes. right, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And um, and it's well. I don't know if you. I'll let you explain, but it's it's a fascinating field, um, It is. and and actually it was founded by an Australian, so quite appropriate. It is. Yeah. So he's based in, he was based in Victoria. So in the, um, was it Eastern States? Yeah. So, um, yeah, he just, he was, um, you know, he was a body worker and he just, um, he was very intuitive. So he would just see a person, know exactly what was wrong with them. Um, and then he created, yeah, the Bowen technique, which is basically it's a soft tissue therapy and we're just using finger and thumb motions just to go over the muscles and the tendons. And we're basically targeting like specific points. So, Um, we, we do, I guess, run along the lines of like the meridians as well. So there is a bit of that too. Um, and so we're targeting specific points. So whether Yeah. A it's bit for like neck in pain, acupuncture, back pain, I guess, as well. You've got like correct. sort of Yeah. core little zones that you that That's you have right. more impact if you work on. Exactly. And, um, and, you know, it's just about targeting those specific points to um, tell the body that it's not an emergency anymore. It's now time to heal. So, basically what Bowen is doing is just naturally enabling the body to heal on its own. So, um, you know, if there is a blockage in those areas, um, your tissue is going to be like in the fascia in the body is not going to be hydrated. So you're going to start experiencing pain. Um, so what we're in a, a, the ability for, for what Bowen does is to unblock that area and allow the body to then start getting those tissues hydrated again. Um, a lot of the times you might experience something profound um, where you, you know, could be in a lot of pain, but it, it basically has just allowed your body to do that. And so that's why we generally say to people two to three sessions just to get your body back into balance because quite often you'll go to the physio and you'll never go just once. you go a few times um, and it's the same with Bowen. People sort of think that oh, I'm just going to have this one treatment, it's going to be the magic bullet. There's no body work that is generally like that. Um, quite often you'll need to go two to three times just to get yourself back into balance. I think um, Yeah. because we, I mean, there's quite a few things I want to sort of pick up on that you've taught there, but one of the things is, you know, we, de we develop these patterns in our body, don't we? And so therefore That's right. to expect them to correct, whilst you might sort of unlock them, um, that sometimes there can be different levels of it that you need to work through to unlock, but also it can be that it needs to hold as well when you go back to doing your, your sort of That's regular right. daily life and, and you know, you need to... to work through the things that might be triggering those as well. And I know Yeah. that's something else that you work with is um, you work with essential oils as well. So you're, That's um, right. you know, you're sort of, you're working on, well, a lot, a lot of these mod modalities are looking at the cause rather than treating the symptoms, aren't Hundred they? percent. And That's um, right. And that's yeah. and that's what we're doing with the Bowen is that we're trying to get to the root of it. So, you know, um, you might be experiencing neck pain, but it's actually because you have stored emotions, for example, in your gallbladder 
um, and your liver. So um, we work with those organs as well. So um, I, the way that I like to focus on, which um, some people go down that track and some people don't, um, is I go down the emotional aspect. So for your body to be completely in rest, um, generally what I do is I explain to people, I've got a various body charts that explain um, what each body part, what emotion is storing. So, for example, um, I've just got my chart up here. If you look at, um, you know, uh, your shoulder, it's bearing the burdens that don't belong to you or lacking in courage. And so say, for example, when you were five years old, uh, something happened to you and, you know, that that core memory is now locked in your shoulder. So something happened at that time and then you experience pain in your shoulder. As an adult, you either that you either have that pain or you won't. Or at the time where you are now ready to release that, you'll start to experience that shoulder pain. Yeah. Um, I've had people that have been on the table that they'll um remember something and, you know, sort of say something to them like uh, again, this is picking up on my intuition as well, because I have my hands on people's bodies. It's not anything you know, woo-woo or anything yeah. like that. It's just I can feel uh, sometimes what might have, you know, caused it or, you know, I ask them the question of, you know, is your left, you know, arm hurting you? And they might have told me and they'll say, oh, yeah, actually, I, you know, was experiencing this part of pain. But and they'll sort of just look at me like, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> how do you know that? But it's, it's just purely because I can feel w- by touching their body exactly where that might be coming from. So... Um, yeah. and, and then with the essential oil is the reason why I entwine those is because each essential oil can target that emotion as well. So what we're doing by touching the body and releasing that physical pain is allowing them to then deal with the emotional aspect. So yeah. it's not up to me to deal with the emotional aspect, but if they're not in any pain anymore, it might actually allow them to not feel that emotional pain as well. So we're just always talking with the physical body and also the emotional body. Um, And so there's just an array of different essential oils that can really enhance um, getting rid of that because essentially you don't want to keep experiencing neck pain or shoulder pain no, and uh, um, so that's not. why <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah and I'll just sort of say to people like it, it's not woo-woo it's that you know if you want to stop experiencing that pain when you get that neck pain or that you know that headache just stop for a minute and just think to yourself what was I just thinking about what was something that was sitting in my subconscious mind you know that that chatter that you always hear in your mind what was I even thinking about at yeah. that time, just to be a little bit more aware around what might be causing that. I think that's really, I mean, what I love about um, this more like holistic approach and holistic has become quite a buzzword, but really at its core, it's just, it's saying like, you know, your your mind, body and spirit are all in beautiful, hopefully you know, harmony and connection with each other. You can't separate one bit from the other. You know, if if Mm -hmm. you're struggling emotionally, it's going to have a physical toll on your body. If you're, you know, struggling with physical pain, it's going to have an emotional toll on your body as well. And I mean, that's that's just a sort of superficial level of of things that most people have awareness of. But I think that's what's so fascinating about these modalities is, is, just Mm. actually that they understand that and they bring people's awareness to it like you say it's like someone might come to you because they have a physical symptom like they've got pain in their shoulder or they're pain in the neck and and you're just gently not only helping them work through that but actually just sort of bringing their awareness to like how you know their experience how they're journeying through life really what what is actually impacting them and both past and present I mean you mentioned there like literally things that happen in your childhood as Mm. well can have an impact on you there's a fascinating book um which I actually talked to a previous guest uh, about called the body keeps the score um by Gabo Mate and I mean it's yeah it is it's something that's becoming much more into mainstream awareness is the impact that past experiences have and that they actually do become locked (laughs) into your body into different areas and um and it's it can be challenging to release them and and so that's where a therapy like bowen is is really powerful not just 
the actual sort of work you're doing but actually having the support as well of the your therapist that you're working with That's like right. you were saying like to gently sort of guide people and and give them support as well as you know physically mm. help them That's right because at the end of the day you don't you don't want to keep experiencing that and it's you know even though my mum I bless her she says she's, she goes you got magic finger, magic hands and I said it's it's not that mum it's your, your body's ready to let that go yeah. you know and and that's what essentially it is are you ready to let that go or you just want to keep experiencing the same thing so that's quite often I always say to people don't be shy putting anything on that form, you know, because I do an intake yeah. form before and I do a little bit of research, see where the connections might be lying because it could be absolutely anything. Like I, I see a lot of women with thyroid issues that experience digestion, like whether it's, um, you know, poor bowel movements or, um, you know, they've got, you know, um, reflux, that sort of yeah. thing, neck issues Um, because quite often if they will say to me, I've got neck issues, I've got digestive issues, and I ask them, have you had your thyroid checked? Because quite often it, you'll be very amazed that it's actually all leaked. Um, yeah. So, um, you know, they'll they'll sort of just sit there and guess and they'll say, oh, actually, okay, I might go look into that or, you know, yeah. I never thought of it that way. Um, but it could be any of those those one things that are causing that issue. Um and then, and then again, I ask them, have you experienced anything like this in your life? And so I do a bit of muscle testing as well. Again, this is these other things are a little bit separate from bone, but that's just me, my interest, where I lie and yeah. where I want to get the best results out of the bowen. Um, so yeah. I do the muscle testing to, and I ask them those questions. I just, I sort of gauge if they are, you know, really into the holistic therapies because, uh, again, some people might be deterred. So I just sort of, I, I <laughs> yeah. know who I can get you know, yeah. to do that. So then um, if I can see a bit of a pattern with what they're experiencing in their body, I'll say, you know, would you be open to doing some muscle testing? And that's the sway testing where you go backwards and forwards. Um, and quite often it will just sort of be asking them, well, you know, uh, do you feel, um, you know, fear of change or moving ahead in your life if they're experiencing some leg pain? And their bodies will tell them that. And that's and that's where I've done a bit of work myself with, you know, the likes of um, Joe Dispenza. Oh, so, yes, yes, um, Joe Dispenza. You know, uh, yeah. And I think that once you actually realise that there is that third voice in your mind, it's just amazing. Like I used to suffer severe neck and back pain because I had whiplash. And just over my journey of studying Bowen, having Bowen treatments, um, and reading books like that, it's made me so aware of what I'm listening to in my mind yeah. and switching off that voice. If you can switch off that voice, it will literally change your life because that self-talk and realising that that person that is you're listening to is full of <laughs> <laughs> well, there, yeah. I, I mean, I, I've talked to a couple of people about this now as well and it is like, what we say to ourselves is like, if we like actually spoke it out loud, we'd yeah. be like, oh my goodness, you would never mm. say that to another person. And we're no sitting way. there saying it to ourselves. And, you know, and one of um, my previous guests, we talked quite a bit about trauma and it was like, mm. you know, taught, she was very passionate about like, you know, this sort of place of safety. And she was like, how can you feel safe when you're having this awful dialogue with yourself? Like literally yeah. telling yourself that you want you, you know, get you're... out of the house like that. Like... Yeah. <laughs> and um I d and I think I it's amazing that you um you've you had that well, it's it's a horrible experience to have had whiplash, which is really very yeah. debilitating. But it's That's fantastic right. to hear that you have found something that works for you, and it and it's started you on this amazing journey as well yourself. That's of right. Like now being able to take what you've learned and share it and help other people. Um, is, I I love stories like that. I think it's yeah it's fantastic. Well, the reason why I'm so passionate about it, and this this probably surprises some people. Um, is that I never actually had Bowen before I studied it. So um, I my full-time work is a desk job and um, I guess I sort of wanted to venture out of that slowly eventually because to me the older I get, the more unnatural it seems to sit behind a desk and go to a building and work behind a computer. So the more yeah. unnatural that they felt, I kept saying to myself, what, what else am I supposed to do? You know, I have to earn a living. I've got a house, a family. Um, what am I meant to do? And and literally come up 
this course on introduction to Bowen therapy. And so I went on a journey with that. I went on a journey with, okay, what is this? Um, so I went to the intro course, was very intrigued. It was a full day course. And I said to my husband, I think, I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to go study this. And I said, but, you know, we have to have an agreement and a commitment that I'm going to have to go do practicals. I'm going to have to study. Cool, no worries. And I thought, okay, let me go get some treatments myself. So as I got the treatments, I was like, is this like how is this physically changing my <laughs> mind and my body? How is this doing this? So I think for me, I've been my own little lab rat of what it's actually done to me and my body. So that's why I believe in it so much yeah. and why I want to share it because what it's physically done to me for somebody that had nothing to do with it, hadn't had it before, had tried lots of different um, things, which did help me at the time. I'm not, I'm not going to put down chiropractors and physio because they all have their job. Every, you know, every, every modality has their place, you know, they all work quite nicely together. Yeah. But for me, what it's done on a physical and emotional level has completely changed the way that I think. And it's, it's allowed me, and this is why I say to people, I can't help you with your emotional aspect, but by allowing you to feel less pain, it can help you deal with your trauma and your issues a lot easier because your body is feeling good. Yeah. Uh, I literally have people going out uh, of the clinic and, and saying, I feel like dancing. And I'm <laughs> like, go dance. Like it's <laughs> like because their tissues, their tissues are dancing because yeah. they're free. They feel looser. Yeah. They feel hydrated. So yeah. it's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, um, yeah. It, no, but it is. It's amazing. It's like I think so often in society we live with this sort of, you know, um, chronic disease, and I mean disease. Like yeah. that we we just you know we we think it's normal. It's become like we've become so accustomed to it that actually just when you have that like little you know it's like someone looking out of a dirty window, isn't it? And then they sort of rub a yeah. little hole, and they're like oh my God, there's like a whole world outside yeah. there that I can see. That's and, right. and then you're like, wow, this actually, I can feel different. Life can be different. And, mm. you know, it's, and like you say, it's your body rejoicing and, and being yeah. like, wow, there's, there is a different way. And, and sometimes we've lived like that for, for years and we just, we literally don't remember any different. I mean, sometimes it can mm. be, you know, it's, it's such a gradual change as well can't it I mean sometimes right. it's, it's something like you've had an accident and you experience quite a noticeable change but sometimes it's, it's just this like slow progression downwards to actually you know things just becoming harder and heavier and yeah. and that's sort of that's physically as well because that's what's happening to your body <laughs> it's becoming that's right yeah harder but and... it's it's that cue you know it's yeah. that cue to say that the change is coming like I don't know about you, but the last, I already feel like this year has been so long because I have yeah. <laughs> emotionally this year, I'm just like, is this how the rest of the year is going to be like? Because I don't know how much more I can take, but it's that thing before change, the change occurs, yeah. you know, you go through that hard phase, but it's because you realize that something else was not working before. Yeah. And so now it's that time of, okay, I'm ready to make things change and move, you know, and it's yeah. that uncomfortable before the comfortable occurs. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And um, I mean, there's, so we, you touched a little bit on it earlier, but um, it's, it's really what um, Bowen therapy is working with is the fascia. And this that's is something right. that's really, I think probably I would even say in like the last, you know, 10, 20 years is actually like, mainstream medicine has started to really mm -hmm. pay attention to like before it was right. you know just kind of oh it's there but we don't really understand what it's doing mm. and now like more and more there's more focus on actually what fascia is and the yeah. huge impact it has well you know your, on the your body. skin is the biggest organ in your body so of well, course, most people because... don't know that actually, do they? And That's that, right. So I'm, gonna, no. I'm gonna repeat that for you. The, your skin is the biggest organ in your body. <laughs> and that I mean, that's something that I, I learned uh, quite a while ago, actually through my horses, mm. but like yeah. and it's it shocked me then. I was like, wow, I've never what? thought yeah. of my skin as an organ, because you think of, mm. you know, like your liver and your stomach and your heart and your lungs, but that's actually, right. yeah, your skin is a huge yeah. organ. That's right. Yeah. And you know those those neuro pathways in your fascia, like they're they're literally sending messages down your whole body, 
And it's just amazing. Like I'm doing more and more research on it because obviously I'm quite new to this as well. So I just have such an interest and I just, you know, um, I tap into so many different resources just to get, you know, that information so people understand that. But, you know, some people will understand it and some people won't. Um, but you're drawn to the people that are the right, you know, clients or community yeah. for you will be drawn to you. So, um, but, yeah, I just have... Yeah, I really, I really want to get more into more, more and more what the fascia does because I can see what it's done for me, just on the on the surface level. Like, yeah. um, it's just fascinating. Yeah, I think, um, I think, I mean, you say you're, you're learning. I think we're we're all learning. I think it's, oh, it's like learning, you know, yeah. it's, that's the beautiful journey of life, isn't it? Really, I think for that's me right. anyway, it's like you know, it's this constant, like these doors get sort of like slightly opened and you're like oh wow that's like a whole new world that I can explore and and I think that's right but just even in science like you know this is this is new really for science they're like Mm. they're really just scratching the surface doing more research of of what it is and and the research into it and but it is it is a fascinating field and I mean, because it literally it just is throughout the entire body, isn't it? And it just, right. and it connects everything from mm. organs and tissues and muscles and tendons to and yeah, it's and it gives what they didn't understand originally was it actually can give like structural strength as well, can't it? So it's That's right, exactly. It so many functions. It's literally holding it up, you know. And yeah. and at the end of the day, if there is a blockage in any one of those connective tissues. You will, yes, you will start to experience that pain. And again, it might be in one area, but it's because somewhere else is blocked, and yeah. so there's not that flow. Um, mm-hmm. And it does, and it does, and there is more research now about how tissues hold the memory. So a lot of things I say to people, and they they giggle a bit, is we're trying to get rid of the issues in your tissues. You know, yeah. um, I'm going to put that on a sticker one day. It's been <laughs> said, but it's not trademark. So. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's just sort of like you know, the more and more that people understand that, um, yeah, the more that they'll they'll understand where they need to make the change. Well, and I mean, the thing is, I you know, as we get older, I mean, both of us are sort of forty-ish, aren't we? Yeah, and it's like yeah. you know, the things that you've been through, you know, the experiences you had in life, you know, they start to stack up on you, don't they? I mean, that's that's, right. that's really what it is, and I think you know that's that's the sort of feeling I've had is like, you know, in your youth, you know, you can bounce back quite quickly from things, That's you, right. you know, they don't slow you down, but as you get a little bit older, they <laughs> they take a little bit longer to recover from, or you're like, oh, well, that's I just, just the, how... the limp I've got now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I just think how much did we shove down back then? Like, oh, that's an emotion. Let's just put yeah. that in my back pocket, or I'll just put that at the bottom of my shoe. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and you, you could get away realize. with it, couldn't you? Because yeah. I mean, that's something that I've I've spoken spoken about in trauma is like you have like this sort of capacity and, and and it's a sort of finite thing of like how much you can actually cope with and you know and you have this stacking effect and then essentially you get to full capacity, you know, and you're like, actually my body really can't cope with anymore and and that's then right. that's when you, you quite often start on this journey of of finding mm-hmm. people like yourself or uh, other modalities yeah. that you're maybe drawn of to actually go no something's got to change because now I'm struggling to cope with this what That's I could right. previously have coped with I'm now not not as resilient to yeah. and um and I think and then but the beauty is it's actually you don't need to get to that point <laughs> like, no that's and right I think, I think that's, that's you part, shouldn't. <laughs> part of what my podcast is I'm like you know I just gently putting this out there putting the awareness there giving people the opportunity yeah, to that's go fantastic well hopefully before you actually get to that sort of like I'm broken I need like serious help is like yeah. actually you can do things before that stage and that's, that's right that's what I love about therapies like Bowen is just it is gentle, isn't it? You know, it's suitable yeah, for oh, it's everyone. It's so gentle. And, it's babies, yeah. elderly. There's, um, you know, it's so big in the animal community as well, like yeah. horses. If I wasn't afraid of most animals, I would probably <laughs> do it because they say it helps animals so much. Um, and we even had um, somebody in our class that was, you have to learn um, human yeah, bowen yeah, before you do. do animal bowen. And so 
um, she's now worked with animals and she's like, I really prefer working on animals. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you can see the appreciation because the love that they show you after they have yeah. it. I love, um, I mean, I've got my own horses and, and dogs and things yeah. and, and they've been really sort of my journey for like holistic um, modalities mm. and things. And one of the things I love about them is, is, you know, you, you almost really can't have this placebo effect because you don't walk up to them yeah. and say, this is going to make you feel better, but you, you know, they, right. ha they have this therapy and then like they physically show you <laughs> like, yeah, you know, they, they, tell you. they go from like struggling to move to being able to move freely. And it's yeah. just like, you know, it's this beautiful, like, um, just validation of it really, I suppose, mm. you know, if, I mean, cause people can be quite cynical like you said we, oh, you know a right. bit woo woo and, and it's oh, it's hard as well because I think a lot of a lot of science hasn't focused on these modalities and really understanding oh, them that's right. and there isn't really um you know in terms of you know being very cynical following the money you know there isn't well there that's isn't what it is because the there's interest... nothing in it for them yeah exactly there isn't yeah. the interest in promoting it and mm. researching it and studying um you know proving that something like this can work because you know you you can't um you know trademark it and um that's right you know sell it in a bottle and <laughs> make, exactly and make that's a what lot, it is a lot of money from it so um yeah yeah it's but they are I just I just love I just love it and I think um something else that you have said quite a few times which is quite important is actually hydration and um, yes. and I think that's a you know everyone knows that they you get told like in sort of wellness circles even dieting circles mm. it's like you're supposed to drink your you know your water every day and, and people were generally quite reticent about it aren't oh, we? but especially i'm shocking in winter like in yeah. you know if i'm sitting indoors unless i have my glass bottle next like if you're sitting down it's fine but if you're moving around i'm shocking like don't even i'm really bad at drinking my water but one thing that i do do in the clinic and this is where the the barbara o'neill effect has come around is you know the celtic sea salt so yeah. um in the clinic i actually have a little jar which looks a little bit sus at the start when you walk in there's a little jar with some you know a uh, gray colored substance in there and i just say to them whether it's before or after just you know pop a little bit in your water or the back of your tongue and uh, what you know, obviously, what the Celtic sea salt does is it hydrates, um, allows the you to absorb the water, so it's like a natural hydrolyte. So I always say to them, have a little bit of that in your water before and after, um, as a natural hydrolyte, um, because it'll it'll allow your body to absorb the water. And there's something like thirty seven trace minerals in Celtic sea salt, oh, so wow. um, that's something that I do encourage in the clinic as well, and and, and it's really important because you are going through a detoxification process after your bowel therapy um, is to drink sufficient amounts of water and make sure you're moving around, not sitting down for long periods of time. Yeah. Um, and we do also encourage not to have any other modalities for five days because bowling can work up to five days um, once you've had a treatment. And so we always recommend that within that seven day period, you come back and try not to do anything in between if you can avoid it um and then also even the effect of having a hot or a cold sh uh, shower can also turn off the bowen so there's just a few things that we do again for hydration purposes um but also just to allow bowen to do its thing um because yeah. it is very powerful i am um, that's really interesting i never heard that about the celtic hmm. sea salt before so that's yeah um, oh yeah so, have um, you heard of barbara neil though she yeah i've, I've heard of yeah. barbara neil yeah yeah um yeah but yeah, that sounds really, really interesting. So um, oh, it's, it's so, worth looking up. Yeah, yeah. I know. I would encourage anyone who's listening to go and look it up because yeah. I think hydration is is such it's it's something we all know, but it's something that we all just underestimate, don't we? And that's right. I think we forget like how much of our bodies is actually made of water, and it's like that's right. You know, it's I think it's like fifty or sixty percent. I always yeah, go say eighty, yeah, but it's, it's not. It's, it's huge. around that. I think, 60, I think it might even something. be like sixty or seventy percent. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's a huge yeah. amount, and it's like, you know, if if you're not hydrated which most of us probably aren't in all honesty no. you know most of us or probably sweating and yeah. yeah and like you say in winter in particular um mm -hmm. you know you, you're not 
because you're not you're not really stimulating your body you know we sit for long periods of time That's right. so we're not you know when like you say we're not actually sweating I think when when you're active and sweating you maybe you're sort of you, yeah, you you're triggering to. your body yeah. to go oh, actually I need a drink but you know generally yeah. through life we're fairly stationary we're you know sitting in desks in a sort of comfortable mm. regulated temperature and and we don't drink enough and and then also on the flip side of that we expose ourselves to things like caffeine and things that also yeah, help to dehydrate, dehydrate us. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, I think that sounds really fascinating to um, for mm. anyone to, to perhaps go and go and in. Yeah, explore. my naturopath has, has told me for years, instead of having the pink salt, she's been telling me before I, this had sort of come about, um, about having the Celtic sea salt because it is – a more pure form um, because you just don't know what you're getting with the pink Himalayan salt yeah. sometimes. I still use both because, you know, my husband always wants the, you know, iodine salt and I'm like, no, oh, it's not good for you. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know you yeah. have to use a bit more of this or it's a bit more coarse, but it is better yeah. for you. So, and I even yeah. put it in my kids' drink bottles when they go to school. They don't even realise the difference now. And it almost makes your, your water more silky. It's, yeah, it's yeah. amazing. Well, yeah. the thing – um. I mean, in some respects, it's like it's sort of like the early form of like, you know, some of the isotonic things really, isn't it? Yeah. You know, which were yeah. like, you know, salts, you know, these these That's right. and salts that your body needs. Um mm. Because obviously, actually, water can can cause problems if you have too much too quickly. <laughs> so That's right. because you have to maintain this the um, the balance in the cells of of all the trace yeah. minerals and things. So and for your yeah. brain to work, like I always think, if I haven't drank any water, I'm thinking, okay, what's going on with my brain today? And I'm like, oh, I haven't drank any water. It's yeah. probably like a prune. There's nothing left in there. <laughs> like you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think um, this is, I mean, this is what I love about this, this journey that you go on when you start, you know, having your eyes open to this kind of awareness of how you approach life is, you know, like you were saying about if you're feeling, you know, if you're sitting there and you suddenly feel neck pain, it's like, get mm. curious, like, you know, this is the beauty, yeah. like, when we're children, we're curious about the world, we like, we right. go through the world asking questions, why does that happen, why do we feel that, why does that work like this, yeah. and and then as we get older, we, you know, we kind of dial that down, and it's like, actually, yeah, let's get curious again, let's have that yeah. child mentality, and it's like, anytime you're feeling something, it's like, why, well, you know, have I not drunk enough today, or did I have, you know, a bad experience, or, you know, and it's, yeah. it's troubleshoot. Just, yeah it's just a different yeah. it's like you open up this conversation with yourself don't you it's really just like you that's know, right just having in a positive way yeah yeah, yeah. that's that's beautiful yeah in, in a mm. non-judgmental way it's like don't yeah don't like be like oh damn I didn't drink enough water it's like you yeah. know you didn't drink enough water go and have a glass of water that's right <laughs> exactly this is a simple yeah. thing we can do here just yeah. turn the tap on and have a glass of water yeah yeah, oh, that's yeah. brilliant but um, yeah, I just um, I, I the other thing I wanted to just circle back to that you mentioned was um, you talked about the nervous system, and obviously mm -hmm. one of the things that that Byron does is it in fascia there are all the the nerves, and I guess the specific points you you target are where the sort of nerve rich places That's right. in the body. We're regulating the nervous system. So yeah. we're getting that into rest and digest. So there is a specific move that we do over the um the knee. Um and we're basically it's it's the your lat. Um so we're hitting the lat and it, when you do that, it's basically telling your body we're not in an emergency anymore. Um mm. and even the first few moves in balm, which we do do in your um along your waistline, um, they are telling your body it's okay. And it's so amazing when you see the body, when you do those moves, and we do them quite slow and on the skin. So bowing can be done over clothing, which is why it's non-invasive. Um, but the first two moves, we do them over the skin, which again is just on, on your lower back, on along your waistline. Um, and we do them very slow. And it's so interesting because there's there's a lot of breaks in bowing. So we'll do generally two to four, sometimes seven-minute waits. It depends on the body and what's going on. Um, and you just see the breathing, like you, you, you will see somebody breathing quite, you know, cause I don't know what a lot of people again, don't haven't had it before or, or they're in such a stress state that you see their breathing is quite rapid. When you yeah. do those first two moves, it's almost like you can see the back collapse and just be like, ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm okay now. Like I'm safe. 
and it's just telling the body that it's safe and it's just such a beautiful thing to see. Um, or even when you do do a few moves over the neck um, and you do go go back after a few minutes once you've allowed the body to rest, it's so much softer, you know, the skin and it's just so, and the fascia and the muscles and the tendons, you can just feel them loosening up. And, there's again, it's telling that body that you are not in an emergency anymore. So we are working directly with the nervous system. Um, so it's just quite fascinating just to see because obviously like your vagus nerve as well, that, that runs uh, quite a, a long line along your body. Um, and when we do um, a bit of work along your SEM, which is here, um, again, that's working with your um, your vagus nerve. So it's it's around getting that also um, into a, a calmer state as well. Because you know, if you think about when you're yelling, where where are you tensing up? You know, getting angry here, and and again, that's giving your vagus nerve and your nervous system. You're dysregulating it. So yeah. I also talk to a lot to people about um, vagus nerve exercises and things that they can do um, in between. Um, to try and get themselves back into rest and digest yeah, so, um, really that, important it is really important and it's it's something that i'm quite passionate about is this the impact of like trauma on mm -hmm. on the body and a big part of that is coming to understand and learn more about you know the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system and also the um the vagus nerve which is really like you know Kind of like the key to it all isn't it oh, and um so much and it's it's because so many of us i think we we live in this state of like chronic stress which to the body mm -hmm. is like you were saying like this is an emergency we you know we're like we have to be on that high alert you know sort of like you know oh my god what's going to happen to me you know would have historically been like oh the tigers in the bush waiting yeah, to, to pounce right. on us kind of thing but 100%. we're getting that yeah. stimuli from just daily life like oh my god I'm going to miss the bus or you know yeah. I'm going to be late for work or you know you have a, a bad you know meeting with someone or someone irritates yeah. you or something goes wrong and and you just you're just constantly like we're living more and more in this like state of um fight flight or freeze really or, or fawn yeah. is the other side of it but mm -hmm. um you know so it and most people don't even know we just you know we, they have they don't even know that they're in that state and that's right and that causes like so many problems for the body over time doesn't it of like exactly you know just chronic stress you're you've got all the stress hormones the, yeah cortisol the, everything yeah. it's just you know, and if you if you can't get by with too much, if that's all raised, like you you physically don't have the ability. So, again, that's what we're trying to do with Bowen is to give you that ability to deal with whatever you need to deal with, where there is an emotion, a physical ailment, um, trauma, um, so many different things. Yeah. Um, because, like Gabriel Mate says, if you if you don't know how to say no, your body will show you. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and that, yeah and that's the sad thing isn't it it's um that's where we get to we get to the point where our bodies say no like they just they go mm. i've been living in this state of like chronic stress and that's right for years and i'm just i'm done i'm depleted i have nothing yeah. more to give and that's right you know that just shows up in 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 multitude of different ways for different people um exactly. how it will affect them and i think that's what i love about like what you're doing is you're giving people sometimes people come to you and they're already in that state and you can help yeah. them but you've also got something that can help them before they get in that state and you know that's it's, right. it's just um it's well it's something that I'm really passionate about and I think um I would just encourage people to you know hopefully it's possibly Bowen that that appeals to them, everywhere but if, but if it's yeah. not and, and something Bowen is else, everywhere yeah <laughs> yeah it's everywhere it's in it's it's worldwide like it's not just yeah. in Australia now um there's one in the UK massive association they're very passionate about it obviously as well um, but it's everywhere. Like my parents are from Greece and my mom is telling me that some of my cousins are experiencing some things and I'm like, there's a Bowen therapist in Greece. Go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Try it's, it. Yeah, exactly. Try it. 
if it's not for you, then find something else that is for you exactly. that, that works That's right. for you. And um but because, take care and, of yourself. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, like you were saying, like through it you've like tapped more into your oh, intuition and i think that's ridiculous. that's for people as well is like it, it's beautiful because it's you get the support of a therapist when you're mm. going to these things and you know they become a, a confidant and they give you that nice space where you can you can have that space to sort of work on yourself whilst being like supported which i think is quite important yeah. for people but it also you also learn your own intuition as well and you begin to have oh, like these right. conversations with yourself you're you know this more less judgmental <laughs> the oh, high love with yourself and, yeah and, it's amazing yeah. and like I say to people, I'm not here to fix you. I'm helping you to go back to being yourself, Yeah. to to be yourself. Because, again, this was conversations we were having today. Is I picked up a card that resonated mostly with my values, and it was that people won't remember what you did for them. They're not going to remember what you said to them. They're going to remember how you made them feel. And yeah. for me, to make somebody feel comfortable enough and safe enough, like you said, to be themselves – I'm good. I'm a, I've achieved what I wanted to. For them to actually feel safe in telling me something that they they totally even forgot about, and they and the amount of times that I get it before I was even doing this was, wow, I actually haven't told that to anybody in years. Mm-hmm. And to me, that's such an honor for that somebody has actually felt that safe. Like yeah. you know, have conversations with my friends, and I've I've spoken to that person this many times and they've never said anything like that to me and I'm like I don't know you know I'm the type of person that if you wanted to talk about farts with I'm there for it whatever you want to do like I'm open like I'm just that type of person that you know if if you feel comfortable enough I'll be there for whatever you want to talk about so and I think that if that's how people should be I think that we've come so far away from who we are that we've lost that essence because we're so trapped in what we're seeing on social media and we've come so far away from who we actually are and I think we just need to come back to that and the closer you come back to that the more better you'll feel physically and mentally in your body I just um I got goosebumps when you were saying that about like you'll remember how someone makes you feel and Mm. I just was like I was like oh my goodness you're just such a beautiful gift (laughs) to this world like thank you so much for everything you're doing because no thank you you. I think it's it is so important and I think um I think in our rush to be busy all the time we we do we've disconnected from how we feel Mm -hmm. and I think that's like that's the key is really just to to find these spaces where you can find the courage to feel again because it it can you know require a bit of courage because you know sometimes if there's been trauma or experiences you know there's a reason that your body is perhaps said yeah yeah, actually maybe not safe to deal for to deal with this we're just gonna like you said choke it down (laughs) And um, and then it becomes locked in the body and I think what's just beautiful about what you're doing is just like you're creating this space you're you know you've got tools to support people to to start to feel safe to to feel again and then they just they come back to themselves that's what you said you know you you remember who you are and yeah yeah that's just as I think the possibly the greatest gift you could give anyone really oh Um, and 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 it's ability that we all have in ourselves you know it's not something that I'm giving to them I just want them to be able to remember who they are I think you can get so lost whether it's from being on your own in a relationship when you have children you know all the phases of life you know we just lose that person who we are and and we become this person that we don't even know yeah you look in the mirror and you're like who is looking back at you yeah yeah that's right yeah. yeah, I just pull it. I just usually pull a face at myself. And yeah. I'm like, oh, there you are. There's that, there's that silly person there. Oh, well, I it sort of I feel that was such a beautiful thing that you said there that I sort of feel that's like a really lovely place to like wrap up. But yeah, I don't beautiful. know if there's anything else that you you sort of feel like you you'd like to share. Um, before no, I just want to say thank you. Like, you know, as we discussed, this is my third po- first podcast talking about Bowen. So 
I feel like it's a bit of a beautiful, safe space to talk about it. And I love what you're doing. I love how you started off the podcast talking about nature because it was just like, wow, okay, I found the greatest person to have a, uh, my first podcast with because I just, I love nature as well. And, you know, nature is nurturing. So um, yeah. it's, it's, yeah, like well, if anything, if all else yeah. fails and you don't do Bowen, go outside. Yeah, Go exactly. and get some fresh air. Sink your feet into the earth. If you don't, if you don't do Bowen, or any other modality, just go outside. It's the biggest, like, uh, hit of, you know, freedom you can ever have is going outside yeah. and having some fresh air. And then you will literally forget what you're worrying about. So yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. And if you can, go to the beach. <laughs> yes, go to the beach. <laughs> that's, our, that's our goal. It's like every time I'm going to go to right. the beach now, I'm going to think of think yeah. of Angie. <laughs> and oh, like, do it. And just, listen, I'm going to listen and, to and my remember breathing to breathe. and be like, sinking yeah. with the waves and just feel like you know, right. the, everything is bigger nothing is you know yeah. as bad as it seems but that's right yeah, yeah. no it's I think I mean for me and that's why I love all of these like healing modalities that you know mm. they like you said you, you're not there to fix someone you're you're giving them the this the tools to fix themselves you're creating the environment that their body can actually just tap into in its innate wisdom and like come back that's to right. itself and come back to 100%. where it wants to be and that's nature you know this, is, this yeah. is like why like on the surface nature we sort of see as outside and out there but actually like we're part of it and yeah you know that's that's what i'm really passionate about is just us remembering like we yeah. have all of this wisdom within us we have all of these capabilities and sometimes we do just need a beautiful guide like yourself to just <laughs> take our hand and you know show us the first few steps back to to what we can do and what is possible sure. and um, yeah yeah it's all within us everything is within us nothing is out of touch it you know whatever other people are doing you can do that as well you just have to believe in yourself and then yeah that's that's literally what you need to do is believe in yourself so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um and as a, a previous guest said it's really simple but it's not easy <laughs> yeah that's right <laughs> yeah and but you, again you've got to have that physical and mental ability to be able yeah. to do it so yeah, yeah and I, I think that's the big thing like if you're struggling with any illness or chronic condition or physical pain it's just it's it's a heavy burden to carry and so finding someone like yourself you know experiencing bone which can help lift some of that weight that you've been carrying can can give you the the space to to explore and, and come back to more of what you're capable of as well so that's right 100 yeah. got mm. the ability Oh, well, brilliant. Well, thank you so much, Angie. It's been absolutely <laughs> thank you for having fantastic me. <laughs> having this wonderful conversation and, and journey with you today. I think we've covered some amazing things. So, oh, definitely. Um, thank you for having me. You're based in Australia, in Adelaide. <laughs> yeah. And um, if anyone is local to you, they can hopefully get in touch and book something direct with you. Um, and I'm going to have your website details and your social media. Oh, beautiful. And even if you're not local, please follow Angie on social media as well. So she has some great um, bits of information. She does little videos and things which will just get you thinking about how you approach life and things as well. So, um, yeah, and, and yeah, just thank you so much for, for everything you're doing. And um, thank you for yeah. everything you're doing as well. Really appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you so much for listening to the Nurtured by Nature podcast. I truly hope this conversation has brought some hope and inspiration into your life. I would love to have these messages ripple out across the world. So if you can, please share this episode with your friends, leave a review on your favourite podcast player and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. I would love to hear from you, so please feel free to connect with me on the links provided in the podcast description. But most importantly, thank you so much for being a part of this journey with me. But don't forget to simply get out there and enjoy the natural world.